10 square meters YouTube studio slash editing bay. This is where magic happens. But it's not epic and I haven't built it in 24 hours. Instead, I wanted everything here to be practical. So let me show you around. I have quite a funny camera rig to do it. And everything we're gonna talk about will be linked in the description. Also, one of the items from my desk is actually for a giveaway. A new one, of course, not the one with my fingerprints on it. So we'll get to it in a moment. But first, let's start from the outside. I forgot to mention this is a home studio. So a very important feature is to have some kind of indicator to let people know that you should not be interrupted. And that's what this light is for. So I can control it with my phone. And when I turn it on, it turns into cold red. And cold red is basically a signal for my kids that I should not be interrupted. I mean, if they lose their finger or something, I wouldn't mind, but you get the point. And let's start with that cabinet over here. My wife says that it's ugly. And to be honest, I do agree with her. But at the same time, it's super practical. I have a drawer for cables, you know, and small HDDs, external HDDs. I have a drawer for cameras and lenses. And it's just super useful. Also, oh, that's very important. I have a key to lock everything inside. And on top, I just keep keys, wallet, bottle of water. And oh, these are really good. Let me just refocus a little bit. Okay, so these are aftershocks, bone conducting headphones. So they do not plug into your ears. They sit right next to your ears. And this is a super useful thing. One of my favorite piece of gear. Next, there are bookshelves. I love books, you know it, if you follow my film book club series. Uh, so there are like Brothers Karamazov, also the book that I adore. Now before we get to the desk and talk about the giveaway I've mentioned before, I just need to address the pieces of art. So first, first these. So these are Flufo, Flufo panels. These are acoustic panels that are produced in Poland, but I believe they ship worldwide and they are really cool. They look very pretty, at least in my opinion. They are soft to touch and work pretty well. Although to be honest, they would probably work better on this wall, but you know, sometimes you have to bend that practical approach a little bit and that's what I've done. <laughs> okay, and onto these. So these are these plates, which are like artworks printed on a piece of metal. One for Goku and one for Breaking Bad. I have one more here and this one is for Whiplash, which is one of the most influential features in my life. Damien Chazelle and Tom Cross just did amazing job on it. And these are actually mounted with magnets to the walls, so I could take them off or replace them, reshuffle them whenever I want to, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. So of course, I'll link the company in the description. It's a Polish company, but they ship worldwide, I'm pretty sure. So have a look at that. Okay, are we ready to move to the desk? I don't think so. We should talk about this corner over here. So that's actually a corner for my kids. This is a place where they can play Minecraft if they want to. Actually, I think it's much better for kids to learn how to use computer and internet and things like that on a desktop machine rather than on a cell phone. So that's that's my point of view at least. Let's move on to that part of the room. First of all, I wanted to address cable management, which to be honest, could be done better, of course. But at the same time, I managed to get it to the point where no cables are touching the floor, which is pretty amazing. I have like six external hard drives connected right now, even more, I think, like nine. Uh, to my computer and all other gear. Still success, in my opinion. The monitors are from Kali Audio. Uh, I did some research and there is nothing better you can get in this price range. And usually the second monitor isn't blocked by the light because the stand is sitting over there, so it's not an issue at all. And in this corner, I have my main editing machine as well as storage unit. So this is Promise Pegasus 32. 48 terabytes version, I have set it up to RAID 5. At the bottom over here, I have external hard drives. So these are with projects for my clients and things like that. Also for cut to the point, of course. Speaking of which, cut to the point, 3D printed, custom made logo by my great friend Andy. And now the light, I got it from Aperture. This is Amaran 200X and I absolutely love it. This is a bicolor lamp. I can control it with Siders Link app. So if I need to change the intensity, let me just refocus quickly. I can set it to full, but this is too bright. I never use it at full. 
usually it's just at 25 at quarter yeah and i can change the temperature to something like you know like a warm temperature or, or a cooler one or something or somewhere in the middle yeah i really love it i can use effects with it so for example something like a stroboscope or something like that almost forgot so the softbox is light dome se from aperture as well the build quality is really good and it comes in with a grid Okay, let's get onto the desk. So the desk itself is from Autonomous and this is obviously a standing desk. I actually did a video about this desk, so and the standing desk in general, how standing, you know, improves the quality of our work. So check it out. My headphones are Audio Technica M40Xs with custom earpods because they're more comfortable than original ones. Next to it, we have Monogram Creative Console which is something that I use on daily basis to speed up my process. For example, for this project here, I have this in to out section. If I want to render it out, I just press the middle button, okay? And it renders the, the section out. It renders the preview files. Okay, next I have this red knob over here. And when I, you know, turn it right or left, it makes the video tracks smaller or bigger very fast and convenient way to do it. As you can see, I have custom profile that I use. And when I press any of these two buttons, press and hold, I have an overlay that explains what each button or knob does and so on. I actually did a review of Monogram, so check it out. I don't want to brag, but it's kind of like in the top of Google search results. If you type in monogram review, I did well, I think at least, but you know, you'll be the one to judge. <laughs> Next to monogram, I have Toolbox, which is another option for external controller. To be honest, I haven't used it that much, so I don't have an opinion about it yet, but you know, I might update you in another video in the future. All I can say for now is that the build quality is actually a little bit better than I expected. So even though features are not as broad as for monogram, it might be an interesting tool as well. Next to it is my Focusrite, which is audio interface that I have, you know, connected my headphones to a microphone as well. So this is a pod mic from Rode. These two, I use them quite often. They're just for, you know, ideas and other things like a brain dump and things like that. The keyboard is from Logic Keyboard. It's just for looks, to be honest. And the mouse is from Logitech. So that's Master MX3. I have really nothing to complain here. It has a very nice spinning wheel. It goes on and on until I stop it. It's very useful for editing and for browsing internet and things like that. Very good mouse. One little addition that is worth mentioning is this cable holder. So it holds cables in place. They don't move around on the desk. And speaking of cables, this is my USB hub. So it's a place where I connect monogram, toolbox, some external hard drives things like that. My webcam is an original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which I connected to the computer with web presenter also from Blackmagic. I use this clamp, this desk clamp, desk stand over here, which is like a cheap desk stand from Amazon. About the displays, both are actually pretty cheap. This one is quite old. I've used it for like eight or nine years already. This one is from Xiaomi. So even though it looks cool, it has this wide aspect ratio. It's actually a cheap monitor. You know, I like to upgrade as I upgrade the projects I work on, so to speak. So which item is for a giveaway? This one, Monogram CC. This is a studio console. It's worth 500 bucks and it does speed up editing process. So all you need to do is enter the link I will provide at the end of the video and probably just answer one question or something like that. Terms will be super simple. You don't have to follow me on my social media or something like that. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. <laughs> and yeah, in two weeks, I will just randomly pick a winner of brand new Monogram studio console. Let's talk about plans for the future. First of all, I will buy some sound blankets to make the audio sound better inside. Secondly, this place on the wall over here is supposed to be for a silver play button from YouTube when I cross that 100,000 subscribers milestone, which with my current growth rate subscribers gained per month will happen in about 40 years. So I'll be 70 something years old. Yeah. That will be fun. Any creator thinks that this video will probably change the course of action. Uh, I doubt it. Anyway, <laughs> another part of the world that kind of has its destiny already is this one. This is where I will work on wall cards, putting images of scenes you're editing so that it gives you a wider perspective of a whole film. This is something Walter March used to do. I mean, he still does it and I want to implement it 
in my own setup. Hopefully in about a year or something like that, I will edit a feature film. So having something like that will actually be very useful. The whole process of creating that wall card space will be documented on the channel, of course. And one other thing that I plan to have and plan to buy probably this year is a treadmill. And for example, watching dailies, I could run a 5K or something like that. I don't know, I think it would be fun. I was actually thinking about even doing a live stream uh, of me editing a, sh a short film or something like that while running. Would that be interesting? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget about the giveaway. Until the next time, shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.